Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I'm going to be doing um, an opinion piece question mark. Basically, I'm going to be sharing my opinion on the level 50 elixir, as you can tell by the title of this YouTube video. I'm going to share my thoughts on it, whether it's good or bad, the implications behind it, what King's Isle might plan to do in the future, and so on and so forth, because it's an interesting topic, and one that I figured I'd make a video on, because I don't think I've ever talked about the level 50 elixir. So, let's go from the start. So, <clears throat> the level 50 elixir, if you did not know exactly what it does, it immediately will boost a character of any level below 50, um, and obviously it says right here you must have a character of level 50 or above on the account it will immediately boost them to level 50 um they will be about three quarters of the way done with winter tusk they'll be in suderland okay they'll be about halfway done with winter tusk and okay god sorry the music is very loud in uh in what's it called in celestia so i'm leaving this world but um, they'll immediately be boosted to level 50, have level 50 gear, which is, like, mediocre, but okay, and, um, will, as I said, be Winter Tusk, and they'll also be on the first quest of Celestia. So, what exactly, um, is it worth it or not, is up for debate, but, um, as you can see, it costs 30,000 crowns usually. Right now, it costs 20,000. 30,000 crowns is about, um... What would that be? I think... Let me go to the Wizard 101 website and see real quick what the easiest way to get 30,000 crowns would be. Okay, you can buy 30,000 crowns for 50 bucks. So, for 50 bucks, you can get 50 levels. Um, an interesting thing... Uh, definitely. But right now, you can get it for about $30. You can get it, yeah, for like 35 bucks, you can get, um, you can get it right now while it's on sale. So that's basically the description of the elixir. Now we're going to go into it. Is it worth it or not? Well, you see, okay, so this, there's a story behind this. This came out a few years ago. I think probably, let me see when this account was made 2017 potentially looks to be my earliest friend it looks like it was about 2017 yeah 2017 <clears throat> which means it's been out, out for about three years now um three years ago they released this po elixir and i being a child of 15 was um convinced to buy it through my uh lack of knowledge so fun fact this death character, my main character on death, is actually a level 50 elixir. And the way to tell that almost immediately is to look at my badges. So, for example, Mushu badges, I only have one. Celeste, okay, sorry, not Celeste. Grizzleheim, I have one. Um, Dragonspire, I have one. Marleybone, I have two. Krakatopia, I have three. So, basically... All the ones, uh, you would have started with one in Krakatopia. Um, same with Wizard City. The only reason why I have multiple badges now is because um, I've done the game over again and quested up some characters. But you can tell that like Avalon, I have seven badges in out of 13 because I actually did Avalon. Um, Zafaria, I have three out of eight because I actually did Zafaria. Uh, Celestia is a little bit more because I actually did Celestia as well, but not as much as I would think, but you get the gist. Basically, you can tell that I did not do the earlier worlds because I don't have any of the badges on the earlier worlds. Same with Wisteria, which I only have Goblin Smasher. I don't remember why I have Goblin Smasher, but I do. Um, so basically, you don't get any of the badges. That's how you can tell. Is it worth it? Now, I quested up my death about 20 levels. I got him to level 70, and then I didn't really quest him up past Safari. He was in the Elephant Graveyard for a very long time. Um, whether or not it's worth it is obviously up to you, but I'm going to give you my opinion right now and say no, it is not worth it. And there's some main reasons for this. The first main reason is that 
first off, it's super expensive. The amount of money you're paying for this is just generally not worth it in the slightest. Um, I would even recommend buying just a bunch of crowns and then spending it on anything else instead. Um, I don't really recommend you buying crowns all that much, but if if you had to spend your money on Wizard 101, crowns would be much better than buying crowns for this elixir. Just buying crowns in general, what I mean. <clears throat> right, so there's that. Is it worth it part two? No, because, and this is the main reason for me, is that I believe levels 1 to 50 are actually the funnest part of this game. I think Arc 1, in general, is incredibly well made, incredibly well balanced, and in regards to level, is exactly what it should be. I feel like skipping those levels is actually kind of detrimental for your impact on playing the game because I believe those levels are the funnest and if you have a character that starts at level 50 you're gonna immediately have to go do either Winter Tusk or do Celestia and let me tell you both of those worlds are not fun and maybe Zafari is fun but at that point you know you need to farm for waterworks gear first because you don't start with waterworks gear and just generally you feel a bit unbalanced in my opinion um now obviously um other people might have other ideas if you think arc 2 is the best in the game by far and you don't even care about arc 1 okay maybe you would want to buy it a little bit more than me but i personally just have always thought that arc 1 is the best of the three arcs in regards to pacing and story wise and obviously i enjoy the other arcs significantly i just think that if i missed arc one it would be like missing a good portion of the game that i should have experienced like i think every character should experience you know what it feels like to do marley bone what it feels like to do mushu mushu especially and i think it's just a little bit of an issue um also this doesn't this kind of doesn't take into account the fact that you're actually probably missing out on a little bit of XP. Um, not a ton, but um, I feel like it, it ends up evening out, definitely. But I feel like being level 50 and and then having Sujulin and Norjulin to do, if you do all the Winter Dust side quests, you'd be about level 56, which I think is actually a little bit less than usual for me. And that's mainly because I usually do side quests back in these earlier worlds. And when you buy the level 50 elixir, you miss out on that. So that's my take on it. Definitely. Whether you agree or not, um, let me know in the comments below. I definitely just don't think it's worth it. So if you came to this video asking, should I buy it? The answer is probably no, unless you really, really don't like levels 1 to 50, which I think, again, are some of the best levels in this game. And if you don't like them i implore you to go back and try them again and try to look at it from the lens of questing and powering up your character rather than just getting to the next world try to actually enjoy what you're doing rather than just powering through the game and i think that that's really important as well for example my life the other day when i was live streaming which i should be live streaming after this video by the way or not after this video before this video comes out actually um um, I questioned through Marleybone, right? And I got through it in two hours. Um, was that fast? Yes. But did I enjoy it more than most of the times I've done Marleybone? Yeah, because I was not only talking to people and experiencing the game, I was also just thinking about it from a battle perspective. I was thinking about like, wow, my life character is kind of cool. I'm hitting things and I'm actually doing damage. I'm having fun. And generally, it was just a good time. So I would recommend you try to do that if you haven't. Um, I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna go into a whole spiel on how to enjoy the game because I feel like that's just not cool. But I will tell you that is a good way to do it. And that's really it for this video. Um, I think the level 50 elixir not worth it. That just sums up the video. TLDR, not worth it. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like, hit the sub button. Let me know your thoughts on the level 50 elixir down below or your thoughts on anything I said in this video because I feel like uh, it's good to have interaction with what, with what I say. Um, if you have any, um, if you have anything that you wanted me to make a video on, uh, let me know in the comments as well because I do take all of your suggestions into account significantly when making a video. A lot of times you guys have better suggestions than anything I could think of. So... 
um, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.